Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Beck Shalizzi. I am the Membership and Social Justice Coordinator at UUCA. Yay! <laughs> the first time I attended UUCA, I felt hesitant. The last time I had been a part of a religious community, it broke me. And the fragments were still grating against each other. Growing up, my church was my everything. My friend group, my spiritual center, my family, the first place that I ever did social justice. And it was my home. Then after leaving for college, I got to know a different Jesus than the one I grew up with. A Jesus who was a black Jewish activist, a Jesus who befriended sex workers and was an anti-capitalist. And I was also beginning to realize that even this Jesus did not need to be my entire source of spiritual inspiration. I found power and healing in the revelations of the tarot. I felt the divine in the works of feminist authors and of writers of Afrofuturist science fiction. I also realized that many of my spiritual beliefs were informed by my childhood best friend and their mother. Through the sharing of their Hindu belief, they taught me about the plurality of God and about the importance of sacred stories. Through this relationship, I learned how the particular brand of Christianity I grew up with was often hateful, exclusionary, and racist, and how much it and I were hurting people who I claimed to love. And I soon learned how much it was hurting me. That first year of college, I came out as bisexual and eventually transgender. When the news of my queerness broke to the church that I grew up in, it did not go well. I became the local focus of a national debate. Adults I considered mentors told my mother that I was going to hell and would not look at me when I visited. The ones who supported my gender and sexuality did not support my changing religious beliefs. I've experienced some pretty intense homophobia and transphobia. I've been physically assaulted, verbally abused, experienced healthcare discrimination, and I've even lost a job. And yet I would say that losing my spiritual family was one of the hardest experiences of discrimination. So I broke and 10 years passed. My androgynous self stepped into the tree house at UUCA, this tucked away office building with fluorescent lights and no gender neutral bathrooms. So fun fact, I never even stepped foot into the old building. And despite this imperfect setting, I felt loved. People's eyes lit up when they saw me. Many told me they hadn't seen me before and were so glad that I had chosen to join them. A congregant came up to me and saw the transgender symbol on my necklace and said, I'm transgender too. I'm also a witch. And I knew that I was home. This is a big part of why I donated to the capital campaign. I don't have to give up a part of myself to belong. Whether it's my gender or the tarot, I can have it all. But it's not the only reason. It's not just about comfort or feeling at home. It's about what we can or, and are going to offer to Atlanta. I didn't just donate to a campaign, I donated to a vision, a vision of a campus hub for interfaith engagement, hosting Jewish high holy days and interfaith iftar celebrations of Ramadan, a vision of a campus that offers healing to the greater community through multiple weekly support groups, a campus where fledgling grassroots in initiatives and nonprofits find their wings, a campus where we can advocate for change in Georgia policies. Who else is ready to expand Medicaid? We got some hands, got some hands. I see your hands raised through the camera and I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so dream big with me. Say yes to a capital 
and stewardship campaign visit. If you have not yet been contacted, go to uuca.org slash together. Press the purple button to ask for a visit. Build a new way together with me.